<laughs> oh. Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So today is a bit of a different vlog, it's not actually a vlog. I handed my project in today, I feel stress free, I've had such a chill day because the past week of my life has been so unbelievably hectic, however I have finally feel like I'm getting back into the swing of things. I handed my project in this morning, I got up nice and early, headed to uni to hand that in. I then came back and edited up a vlog, I basically haven't done anything today. Uh, however I have cleaned my room and stuff and I just laid watching Zoe's vlog and she's done like a little bit of a, a, little bit of a sort out and I love watching looks like that so I'd be like you know what I'm gonna sort my room out and like depop some stuff and go through my clothes decide what I want and what I don't want um, and figure out what the hell I'm doing with my life so that's what day I'm having I wasn't gonna vlog obviously we're not really doing much it's raining outside the weather is awful I thought I was just gonna hand my project in and like that's it like for today because we've been so busy the entire day is, it was just nice to have a chill day however I've edited a vlog been watching some vlogs and I feel really just like I want to get my camera out I feel like I haven't felt like this in like probably three weeks now just because I've been so overwhelmed with uni work However, I'm gonna set my room out. Maybe some people like these decluttering type vlogs. I'm gonna show you my room though, cause it's really tidy. I um, made a little changes. I didn't actually make many changes. I moved one plant, got rid of a plant, swapped something around. But I'm gonna show you because I don't know. I kind of want to vlog this. So first little change, I swapped the plant. In fact, tell a lie. The plant that were there actually died. So I decided to swap it out for the plant that used to be over there. And now this side of my room looks really bare. So I kind of want like a, I'd love a big mirror along that back wall, but like who the hell am I? Don't really know. But yeah, this is all nice and tidy. As you can see, my bed's made. I've just been laid there watching stuff on my laptop. And then I also went through and tidied the top of my wardrobe, which I'm so, like, happy about. Ignore this box here. My cousin's birthday present is in there. So, little sneak peek of what's in there. Um, yeah, my cousin's birthday present. So, Emily, if you're watching, look out for that. But, yeah, this is the part of my room that's not that tidy. I ordered this bag off Misguided, which just literally arrived just now. Um, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. I really wanted the Louis Vuitton, like, little trunk bag. And it's, like, got, like, things like this on it. However... I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going to try it on with a different outfit because right now, as you can see, not looking my greatest. So I want to try this on with a different outfit. But for now, I don't think I'm feeling it, you know? It's really cool though. I don't wear a lot of the stuff that's in here, so I think it's dumb of me just to keep it because like, I always see these things, like stuff like this, and think, wow, I'm never probably going to wear that ever again, but like, I may as well keep it just in case, and that, that's just so dumb. So I'm going to go through my wardrobe. It's more so trousers and shoes that I need to get rid of because I have all my shoes laid out here, which I wear all the time, but then in the bottom of this wardrobe, I have so many shoes that I never, ever wear, and I just keep them because I think maybe one day, but like one day is not coming anytime soon, let's be honest. I just kind of wanted to have a little chat with with you, you know, I feel like we've not had a catch up in a little while, so I thought I'd do that whilst decluttering my wardrobe. And also, you can see if you want anything from my wardrobe, I guess, because I'm gonna put it on Depop. So if you see something that catches your eye, maybe it's on Depop. I'm not too sure. I just, I don't know. I'm gonna put my camera down. I'm gonna sort my wardrobe out, and then I'll pick up when I'm making progress. Hopefully, that'll be sooner rather than later. Right, I've pulled a bunch of trousers and stuff out of my wardrobe. I'm now gonna try a bunch of stuff on and just see if I'm liking it. Like these, I really like, but I've not worn them in the longest time. So I'm just keeping them because I think, wow, maybe one day, or will I actually wear them again? Oh, this is the hard part. I'm so bad at departing with things. Like I feel like I need to keep everything I've ever owned. Um, so I actually am gonna struggle when I get a house and have an actual family because I'll wanna keep every single thing ever. I absolutely love these trousers, but I feel like my fashion sense has changed so much since buying them. Like look how freaking cool these are. I do feel a little bit like a chef, but like a cool chef, like I think these are really cool. I don't think I'll ever see myself wearing them again, so looks like they're going on Depot. Oh my god, and these look! The ones with like the cool denim thing at the bottom, they literally do not fit. Like I can't fasten this button. But they're really, really cool, look, they have like little denim flames on the bottom. <laughs> Oh. I feel like at one point I wore these so freaking much and I kind of do still love them. I'm not worn in a long time. Am I going to wear them ever again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Right, I'm watching Anna's vlog. I've moved on from Zoe to Anna's vlog. This is the pile of stuff that I've got from my wardrobe. There's not actually that much there. I thought I would have got rid of a lot more, but there is so much room left in my wardrobe now. Like, if I push everything up, we've got that much room, which is probably like a quarter of my wardrobe space. So I'm so glad about that. Also, same with my trousers as well. I've literally only kept things that I either wear quite a lot or that I feel like I will wear. Like, there's a pair of dungarees back here. These ones that I've not actually worn yet, but I really do want to wear them, so I am going to keep them. And then just like, 
different pairs of jeans. I've got so many different styles of jeans. Like I've got skinny jeans, baggy jeans, and like super big mom jeans. I just got a bunch of different genres of like jean, if that makes sense. That's my wardrobe all sorted. I'm now gonna head into the bottom of this wardrobe and um, go through my shoes, which is gonna be challenging because I absolutely love all my shoes and I don't really wanna part with any of them, not gonna lie. I went through a stage last year. In fact, I've probably been doing this for like the last two, three years, um, where I buy vans and then never seem to wear them. Like all the like releases of vans that are just like not limited edition, but like they're not for sale anymore in van stores like this. These are like Peanut and Snoopy X vans and I've never ever worn them. I've worn them for a photo and that's literally it. Part of me wants to sell them because like I literally have never wear them and never probably will wear them. But then also like I more bought them as like a collectible thing. But then is it really collectible? Not gonna lie. No one seems to be like begging for these. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I'm just a bit like, hmm, they're really, really cool, but I'm not gonna wear them so do I keep them or do I just bite the bullet and get rid oh my god I remember when I used to like be obsessed with these I really can't see myself wearing these again but then they are so in such good quality like leave and look at the bottom of the thing like they're such good quality that I've literally hardly even wore them I'm just gonna keep them you know because if I one day decide that I want some vans at least I've got them you know I also have these ones which also have never worn love that but they like these really cool suede suede vans I know my dad would love these so I might actually give it my dad. When I hold them like this, I think, oh, these are really cool, but then I don't end up reaching for them. Maybe it's because they're in the bottom of my wardrobe. They're really cool suede vans right there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pairs of vans that I never wear, and I'm trying to justify the fact that I need to keep them. I mean, this is awful. And I've got eight pairs of vans that I never wear. I forgot about these ones. I should probably just keep my shoes and stop being dumb. Like, we don't really need to stop throwing everything away, Byron, do we? Bye, honey. The final cupboard I've got is this one, and this is full of bags and cups. And this is the one that I am probably not gonna throw anything away at all because I have a weird thing for jackets and cups. All right, so I've literally just finished up depopping all my stuff. I've been taking photos of it and everything, which is why the ring light's set up there. I've literally just finished doing that. I didn't put as much stuff up as I thought I was gonna do. Like when I looked through my wardrobe, like, I'm gonna get rid of so much. And actually, if I think about it, it wasn't that long ago since I actually did like a massive clear out of my stuff. So it's just in a little one. So if you wanna see anything that's on my depop, I'll leave it linked below. Um, but yeah, that's the situation. I don't know what we're doing this evening. We did plan, oh my God, I've messed up by laying on this rug. This rug is the best thing ever. It's from Urban Outfitters. I get questions on where it's from. It's from Urban Outfitters, but it's like a, a weird material. It like sheds like a dog. Like the back of my hat now will be covered in what looks like dog hairs. However, we don't have a dog, so love that for me. I basically don't know what the situation is now because we planned on having like a night out tonight. Like me and everyone from uni and like Haz and Freya and everyone, we're all gonna go clubbing. Um, I say clubbing, we were just gonna go out. Clubbing sounds weird. It sounds like something my mom would say. <laughs> However, everyone seems to have canceled um, and now it's only me, Freya and Josh and Haz. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I can't want some food. So I think we might order Uber Eats and just have a chill one with the girls. You know, a chill one with the girlies. I should probably stop doing that. <laughs> oh my God, how cool is he? Nice one. That's so good. Snacks. You like the big snacks. Cheers. <laughs> Fries before guys. Fries before guys. Chicks before Jokes, haha. -ha. <laughs> I just had some chicken. 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 I just <laughs> what? Is going on? Right, so we've just been sat for the longest time. We've literally been sat for two hours actually watching the Michael Jackson. I won't really, it's not a documentary, is it? <laughs> no, no, I can't say any of this in my vlog for real. I actually can't put that in. <laughs> I can't put that in. I guess it is a documentary. Anyway, it's not we've been watching it. it is a documentary. All right, <laughs> it's a documentary. And we've been watching it for two hours. We're on the second episode. What, it's, it's a series. No, I think it's only. I think it's, it's a Shane Dawson. Oh well, it's a two-part series. Two series. So basically, we've watched the first two hours. We've got the second two hours to go. I want to say it's interesting, but I don't know if that's weird. No, it is very interesting. It is interesting, but it's also really it's also, sad. It's like disturbing. Yeah, it's disturbing and like yeah. And anyway, we're I, gonna know watch it. I know yeah. something's yeah. coming about the dad, and I'm not. Oh, yeah, I, don't know. Yeah. I don't want to I don't want it to anyway, be that because it's very like it's worth watching is all I'm gonna say. Like only I, if you're like in the right I don't think yeah, should No, I don't think anyone underage should watch it. I, I feel think like eighteen or over. I know that sounds really bad but like I Yeah, just don't think I it's feel like right. it's very like heavy, but it's mm -hmm. like 
heavy to the point where you're like, oh my god, shit, this actually happened. Yeah. Um, I saw it all over like Facebook and everyone was talking about it, so we're like, right, we'll watch it. Anyway, on a lighter note, we're gonna have a little tea break. Yeah. Oh, look, it has his little vagina pubes coming out. Oh, this is so heavy. Right, let's go make some tea, sisters. Hi everyone, it is now the next morning, as you can probably see, I have literally just woken up. I didn't end the vlog last night because I basically just fell asleep. We finished watching the Michael Jackson thing. I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you wanna subscribe to my channel, please do. I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more now. This one was just like a little, I don't know, I was bored yesterday, I wanted to pick up my camera and I want this channel just to be a bunch of random stuff. So if I wanna clean my room and film it, then I'm gonna clean my room and film it. That sounded really dull and boring. Hopefully you found it interesting or somewhat like therapeutic to just watch me clean and sort my life out. Anyway, I I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you enjoyed it, smash a big thumbs up and I will see you in a couple of days time with a brand new video. I love you all lots and yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh, that ending was so awkward. What the fuck is wrong with me?